Hi, this is Mike. In the last episode of the Blackboard 9 tutorials, we took a look at how to create a test. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at how to add a test. If you haven't seen the video on creating a test, you might want to have a look at that before this one. Um, but uh, let's go back to that page where the tests, where, where my test resides. I'm going to go into my assignments area. And I'm going to go to evaluate, and I can go to create test. So that'll bring me up to the test canvas, and um, I can either create a new test as I did before, or I can add that test that I just created. And now that new test appears here. And I'll click on that new test, and I'll hit submit. So now that test is ready to be deployed. And I can give it a name and a description here again if I like. I can make the test available. I can add an announcement for the test. I can allow multiple attempts or not, or I can allow a certain number of attempts or unlimited attempts. I can force completion, which means that it has to be completed the first time it's launched. And I can set a timer. I'll do that. And I'll say zero hours, five minutes for my one question test. Um, I can display it between certain dates if I like, or I can just have it all the time. Um, I can also give it a password. Um, that's helpful if you want to lock out certain students from the test and not others. I want to include the test in the grade score calculations. And now I can, oh, I can also hide the results for the test from the instructor and grade center. And what that basically does is it makes it um, like a survey. And if you check that box, you will never be able to see um, the test results. Um, you won't be able to find which student answered which question, so don't check that if you don't want it. Um, and then you've got test feedback, and right now by default it's just score, but you can also let the students see their submitted answers, their correct answers, and their feedback if you want. And then we've got presentation mode, so you can either have it appear all at once, one question at a time, um, one question at a time and prohibit backtracking so they can't go back and look at previous answers, and then you can also have randomized questions. So since I only have one um, question, it doesn't really matter, but I'll choose randomized questions and one at a time. And I'll hit submit. And that's it. So that test has been created and it will be available to the students. As a matter of fact, if we go to the home page, we should see under what's new tests and I can click on that and go to the new test and there it is so here's the uh, new test and I can click on that and now it says begin new test and I'll click on begin and remember I'm logged in as a faculty member here but it will actually show me the test and I can then go ahead and take the test. And I'll say OK. And there it is. So it has allowed me to take the test, which I'm not sure Blackboard 8 used to let faculty members do that. Um, and now it also gives me uh, my score automatically. So the nice thing is you get to see exactly what the students will see when they take their test.